Hi guys, it's uh, Simon again from SA Tuning. Um, what we've got here today, we've got two KO3 turbos. Um, now they're off of a two litre TFSI Golf. Um, it's a 59 plate. Now, the customer came to us after having a tune elsewhere and um, had a dyno run as well. Um, now, they run sort of 210 horse stock um, and he was expecting to hit sort of 270s and he only hit sort of 238. Um, and unfortunately, the company that he went to told him that um, none of the adaptions were done or the car hadn't adapted properly, which is unfortunately incorrect. Um, when you tune a car, it's, it's instant. The, the, you know, the results are instant. Um, so he came to us and we said, all right, well, let's, let's look into things. So what we did is we, we went out um, into the dyno and stuck the car in the dyno. We actually logged some boosts and logged some temperatures and logged what was happening with the car. Now, what we found is that the boost wasn't getting where it should be. Um, it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. So we obviously knew that there was a problem somewhere, so we smoke tested it. No, it was absolutely fine. Uh, PCV valve and DVV, DV valve changed. Absolutely fine. So we knew there was a problem a little bit further on um, down the line. And the turbo didn't sound fantastic. So we thought, you know, we'll pull it off and have a look. Now, what we, got, what we use here is we use this. It looks like an instrument of death, but it's not. Um, it is, in fact, just a camera. Um, on the end of a uh, off the end of a shaft here that's bendable and we can use this now we use this to look in some fine stuff that others just can't um, because it is so important to work out now these turbos are actually sealed units the only way to let, get in to look at the impeller housing underneath would be to actually remove this whole compressor housing here and this whole compressor housing to actually look at what's happening now what we'll do is we'll try and show you we'll try and show you a good turbo so I don't know if you can see that very well but as you can see all the fins are in place everything looks nice so that's in a really good condition that's absolutely fine in there and then what we'll try and do is we'll try and look in the other one and uh, yeah, it needs a bit of fiddling right, let's try that again bear with this just needs a little bit of a bit of a tickle right uh, we'll try and get it Hmm, it's a little bit of a pain today. All right, let's try again. There we go. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but all of those impellers are absolutely smashed apart. That is in an atrocious state, which is why the car wasn't making any boost. Now, the problem you have with that when the impellers start doing that is that the little bits of metal can shear off, go into the intake system, go into the cylinder, um, and cause an awful lot of aggravation. But what we wanted to show you is here at SA Tuning, you know, we use, we use some of the latest gear. This is only one of the tools that we can use, um, but we use the latest gear to work out exactly what's happening inside stuff that you genuinely can't get to. And it's so important to effectively tune a car. You genuinely need to understand what's happening with it. Um, and you genuinely need to understand, well, what are the other problems that could be associated with it when you're tuning it? So if you've got a vehicle that you're a little bit unsure of, um, or you've had it tuned elsewhere, or you know, you've just bought it and you feel that it might be tuned but not quite running quite rightly, give us a call, 0333 0136. Um, you can email us at info at satuning.co.uk, or you can message us here, and we're more than happy to get, get back to you. Um, and then, yeah, we can book you in for a diagnostic session and potentially see what's happening for you. All right, thanks guys, we'll see you soon.